ladies and gentlemen. Well awaited and worthwhile visit by the Prime Minister and the leader of the Fiji First Party, Honorable Warege Bainimarama. Please extend our warmest appreciation for his visit to Ram Krishna Temple. May I ask you all be seated in silence and let us quickly formalize the event of tonight. The chief guest, the Prime Minister of Fiji and the leader of Fiji Best Party, Honorable Warenge Bainimarama, Lady Mary Bainimarama, the Reconnaissance Strategic Logistic Team, our media personalities, our management committee, governors, patrons, members, ladies, and gentlemen. This is truly a very special moment for us all to have, to feel, and embrace the presence of a great leader, Mr. Baini Marama. We are here tonight, sir. We are honored and truly privileged to have you, your good self, and the good lady. And uh, we would like to extend to you our utmost respect ever we have given to our personality, the likes of you. May I? I once again earnestly urge one and all of you to whom I extend a very warm welcome to Ram Krishna Temple. And it goes without saying, please put your mobile phones in flight mode or silent. And now shall I call upon our Panditji to, to offer our respect and do the garlanding ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. It was a small token gift to you, sir. And Lady Mary, please accept our kind, heartfelt appreciation towards you. Ladies and gentlemen, I understand you are here not to listen to me. I will do my best to speed up the formality so that uh, you can hear as much as deep and as awaited dialogue that our Prime Minister can deliver. However, 
I would like to, in gist and glimpses of things, would like to briefly say about our organization. We are Sri Sanatan Dharam Sabha of New South Wales. It is a religious and cultural organization operating under the charitable and incorporation act. We preach Hinduism in Australia and its core principles of Sanatan, which is eternal. We strive to teach and inculcate Hindu religion, culture, tradition, language, arts, music, etc. And our prime interest at heart is love, peace, and respect to all human beings. This is the only temple that is publicly open to non-members. And as we cherish the values of sharing and caring, we do care about the poor, about the young, about the old, about the sick, about the disabled, and the underprivileged. And we are truly blessed by the lords that we have in this temple. And I can understand very well that the sharing and caring trait, Mr. Prime Minister, is well ingrained in the Fijian people that we have carried to Australia now. May I say this as well, that it was 135 years of celebrations, the pyramid celebrations that we had this year at our temple. And uh, our journey to this point has been long and enduring, but nothing, nothing in comparison to the Prime Minister saying that you have endured Fiji the way it is today. We are a vibrant, resilient, and respectful community. Predominantly Indo-Fijians, we call Kaimia. United as much and willing to serve a very meaningful purpose in life. We anticipate to be part of decision-making process at local, state and national levels here in Australia and be a formidable and collective voice internationally and on a global platform. The survival of this organization is purely through volunteer work, dedication and the kind donations that people every now and then they give. And our existence is, may I say, a political. Out of our observation, as far as PG is concerned, we like to acknowledge and thank you, the Prime Minister, that you have done an excellent work. And I say on behalf of our community, a big binaka <laughs> You have steered the country from the brink to hope and prosperity, from very uncharted waters to tranquil atmosphere, from deceiveness to one nation, one people, and one value. I would like to indulge much more into your good work, but would love you to tell us what you have done so far. I would like to publicly place on record this very initiative that we initiated during the time of ravaged flooding in Fiji and the treacherous cyclones that the people of Fiji suffered. And it was an environment where the diplomatic relations with Australia was at loggerheads. We were amongst some charitable organizations from Fiji who are operating here. We approached the Labour Party elites 
Honorable Bogta, Honorable Eid Jose, Michelle Rollins, etc., etc., and put the pressure and reignited the dialogue, then eventuated thereafter. And I take this opportunity to thank Mr. Harris Benji, who is here. He's a very dynamic personality, Mr. Prime Minister. You would love to meet him when we have time. Prakash from Northern, Saroj Kiafiji, Muttu Menon from uh, a temple, and myself from this organization. We did marvelous in well. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I now have the privilege and the honor, and may I call upon the Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Bani Mano, to say a few words. Thank you again. I want to thank you for coming in numbers to come and meet with me this evening. I have just come from a mosque where I met, with, uh, met up with a lot of Fijians, uh, big number of Fijians. And again here tonight, uh, there is a uh, big number of Fijians here. I've never seen so many Fijians in one night. But I must also offer my apologies uh, for coming a bit late. We were just ready to drive in but we discovered that I left my bag behind at the mosque so we drove all the way back. Uh, there's nothing in the bag, there's no money. <laughs> Only a couple of photos of me and my wife and our grandchildren. But. Uh, I thank you for for waiting in numbers. Mulabinaka is a very good evening. It gives me much uh, pleasure to be here this evening to talk with you. Um, as I said in the meeting earlier on in the mosque, I didn't expect this many number of Fijians to meet with me on the first evening, so I want to thank the committee for organizing this, I thought there would be just a handful of people that I would be talking with. But uh, I'm glad that uh, there's a good number of you. I understand that registration was done here for election and voting in uh, September 17. And I don't know if all of you are going to vote. But those of you who are going to vote, I'm here to tell you to vote for Fiji first. And for those of you who are not going to vote Fiji first, I'll take your money. <laughs> but you have uh, friends and relatives in Fiji who you can talk to and talk about the good things that uh, Fiji First Party has done for the nation, especially in uh, trying to bridge the gap between the races, which is uh, the most important thing, I think we should do in Fiji right now. And uh, we continue to work towards that. And you have a lot of, as I said, you have friends and relatives in Fiji who are in other political parties. Uh, maybe you can convince them to move over because, uh, as you know, the other political parties are talking about removing or amending the constitution which is not a very good thing for us. This is the best thing that has ever happened to the people of Fiji, bringing all the races together, the constitution of 2013. As you know, ladies and gentlemen, we have a, a new constitution in Fiji, uh, which has been in force since uh, September uh, of last year. Our constitution, uh, which we have uh, talked about, has been hailed as a, a leading constitution. The 
constitution recognized as a special place of the indigenous people uh, in, in, uh, in Fiji, in the Itoke, and the Rutuban people. Uh, it gives unprecedented uh, protection of the customary uh, ownership of their, of their land, that recognizes their, their language, uh, customary practices, and of course the tradition. At the same time, this constitution practices and uh, uh, sorry, this uh, constitution establishes common and equal citizenry, which I I keep saying is something that is very close to uh, close to my heart and uh, something that I've been fighting for since day one in 2000, the event of 2000. And most of you would have been in Fiji or would have uh, come across the events of 2000, one of the darkest days in Fiji. And as you know, I was the commander of the military. And uh, that would be, I think, the darkest days in Fiji's history, especially at the end of which uh, Fijian soldiers were shot and killed. But the constitution also ensures that all citizens of Fiji are called Fijians. That is not in the constitution. Common and equal uh, citizenry, ladies and gentlemen, is not only important to ensure that uh, no one gets uh, uh, treated uh, as a second class or third class citizen. This is not only applicable uh, between different ethnic groups, but also between different social economic groups. In other words, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we should, should not discriminate uh, between the rich and the poor, the chiefs and the commoner, uh, the rural and the urban, the tenant and the landlord. Many of you who are Fijians or former Fijians uh, know that this was the case in Fiji for a long time and we need to get out of the trap. The Constitution also for the first time ensure that tenants are given unprecedented protection through the Bill of Rights. The uh, Constitution also for the first time has the most extensive Bill of Rights that not only ensures civil and political rights but uh, a new range of socio-economic rights such as the right to, uh, to clean and safe water, access to transportation, uh, right to work and uh, just minimum wage. We have copies of the Constitution available uh, and uh, it's also been uh, written in the three languages in uh, English, in the Istani, Hindustani and the Turkey but also for the first time ever it's been included in the Braille language so that the blind can see. And that is the message that we want to send across to the people of Fiji that no one is going to be left behind. I uh, understand not, not even the Australians have translated their constitution in Britain. The constitution also, ladies and gentlemen, uh, also creates an electoral system where Fijians for the first time in their history will not be legally forced to vote along ethnic lines. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, now for the first time a universally accepted uh, constitution, the principle being implemented, the principle of one person, one vote and one value.
Fijians will no longer have to stand in queues, as uh, those of you that have voted in the past will know, Fijians will no longer have to stand in queues after being segregated into ethnic groups and vote. They will go into the polls and vote as Fijians. Which political party and which individual uh, they will choose will be their choice on 17th of September. The Fijian constitution also, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is the way forward for us. It has the capacity to ensure that uh, the future is secure for all of us, especially for the young ones here. It is our future, it is for our children, and it provides stability and a vision. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is where I speak about uh, Fiji first, the reason I'm in Sydney, and of course the reason I'm here at the temple tonight. Fiji First is a political movement that is dedicated to the service of Fiji and all Fijians. Our entire agenda and motivation, as you will see from Fiji First uh, Constitution, includes improving service delivery, uh, putting Fiji and Fijians first, and bringing about a partnership between workers, employers, employees, uh, and government, looking after and uh, bringing the marginalized into the mainstream society, bringing about uh, economic development, as you will have heard or seen if you've been to Fiji lately, and improving the living conditions of all Fijians, and of course, ensuring substantive justice. This is what Fiji First is about. Our constitution is, of course, available. Uh, in our website uh, on www.fijifirst.com and you can also go to our Fiji First uh, Facebook. These values and objectives of uh, Fiji First is what we are pushing. Of course, some of, the, some of these have already been uh, uh, achieved over the last six, seven years and which we want to improve upon. So my government through my government, uh, we have improved the law and order situation. We provide for the first time free education. We have uh, free textbooks, uh, established uh, free bus fares for the poor, for the poor families, and we have uh, pension available for those over the age of 70. Hundreds of millions of dollars have been uh, expanded in rural areas, in rural electri electrification, access to water and building, and uh, the rehabilitation of our uh, road work. Fiji First, of course, will continue with these programs, as I've said, uh, and our, our economy, I will also say, is uh, unprecedented and uh, uh, have uh, sustained growth. We are to grow at 3.8% uh, uh, this year. Uh, international agencies such as the IMF, uh, Standard & Poor's and Moody's and even ANZ and given their teach to the economy. There is a unprecedented private sector investment at home and our foreign reserve stand in excess of about $1.8 billion. The highest. The highest has ever been. Of course, with my government allowing for multiple citizenship, many former Fijians like you, some of you here, are applying to become uh, Fijians again. And of course, this has led to new investments. Under Fiji First, ladies and gentlemen, we want to continue with building Fiji into a modern, a just, fair and progressive Fiji. We believe we believe uh, the politics of disease, the, policy, the politics of deceit, the politics of old, 
uh, the politics of fear mongering, of being negative, should not exist anymore. The, the election is a, a choice, really, between, on one hand, uh, represented by Sodelpa, NFP, Fiji Labour Party, and PDP, all political parties who want to get rid of the, the constitution that would bring about equal citizenship to the people of Fiji. And of course, on the other hand, is Fiji's first. Fiji First Party, which is fighting for the existence of this constitution, uh, many of us will not uh, will not see the best part of the constitution, but it will be for little girls sitting like this in the front row. In 20, 30 years time, we hope that they will see the best part of this constitution. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of my statement. And uh, I will be in Sydney for the next couple of days, uh, going back home, and this will be the last of my overseas travels. I can't wait for for this election to uh, get it over and done with, because there's a lot of crop drinking happening. I'm <laughs> getting sick every day. But I thank you for coming in numbers again this evening to come and uh, meet up with me. And uh, I think uh, I have another commitment uh, this evening to meet up with another two groups. But uh, I understand we have uh, we have some time for question and answer session. A couple of minutes maybe. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. You have made it in every aspect. I didn't realize you were a very good politician. I thought you were only a commander. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, yes, the great gentleman is here. He's wearing two shoes, as I said. First as a prime minister, second as the leader for Fiji First Party. If you five are him in one and you don't, you better, you better start forking out some money for him to go home. And there are tickets at $50 going around, and I want those tickets to be sold tonight. Jason, where is the venue for tomorrow night's function? And may I say this, it's in, in a leader, in a leader. You don't look at leaders, how they look, what they wear, what they say. Because 90% of the politicians are all bush lawyers anyway. However, however, look at the deeds, the very essence of what they say and deliver. And here I give 110% to Mr. Baini Marama. And may I say this? At this very conjuncture and this very opportune occasion, with your blessing, Mr. Bani Marama, I felt I had discussed informally with some of uh, uh, individuals who have a lot of touches here in Australia that we should form a platform. In its absoluteness, Fiji being at heart, irrespective of whatever government or politician, that we should form a committee and help Fijians at large as much as we can. And, and in conclusion, on behalf of Ram Krishna Temple, I extend to you our deepest appreciation and your team, wonderful job, mate. We, were, we always recognize you guys and ladies and gentlemen who have come, please be assured that there is every blessing from the Lotus feet of our Supreme Lord here be with you, the Prime Minister and good lady there and your team and we wish you, wish the Fiji first every success in every step of the way. And as, as I say, there are a lot of 
Talanoa sessions starting from tomorrow. Uh, I'll call upon Jason to uh, please uh, indicate where all these programs will be so that we can fully participate. And the tickets are around $50 each. Please, we have to fork out for the great gentleman seated here. Jason. Shukriya, George. हमारे साथ मंदर के जितने भी भाई बहन यहाँ पर बैठे हुए हैं हमारे फिजी द्वीप के प्रधानमंत्री तथा फिजी फर्स्ट पॉलिटिकल पार्टी के मुख्य नेता श्रीमान बोरेंगे बनाएं भाई निमरा मक्की और से आप सभी का शुक्रिया अदा करते हैं कि आप इतने भारी तैदात में यहाँ पर आए हैं उनको समर्थन प्रदान करने के लिए हम आशा करते हैं कि जिस तरह से ये यहाँ पर आए हैं आप भी उनके द्वार पर जाएंगे यानी कि हमें हमारे फिजी द्वीप में जब आपको मौका मिलेगा आने वाले महीने की आम चुनाव में मतदान अपने देने के लिए फिजी फर्स्ट पोलिटिकल पार्टी की ओर से हम आप सभी से आग्रह करते हैं कि जब भी आप अपने मतदान प्रदान करें तो ये सोचना कि कौन सी एक व्यक्ति है जिन्होंने हमारी मातृ मातृभूमि फिजी के लिए कुछ अच्छा काम किया है जब से हमारे प्रधानमंत्री यहाँ पर श्री बैनो रामा जी है जब से वो इस पक्ष को संभाले है हमारे फिजी द्वीप उन्नति करते जा रहा है तो हम आप सभी से आग्रह करेंगे कि मतदान सोच समझ के दीजिए और इन्हीं को दीजिए फिजी फर्स्ट जो पॉलिटिकल पार्टी है उनकी एक शाखा हम यहां पर सिटी में खोल रहे हैं अगर आपको किसी तरह की जानकारी चाहिए या आप उसके उस पार्टी का नेता या कुछ मेम्बरान बनना चाहते हैं तो हमारी छोटी सी भोजना ने जिसका नाम है फिजी करी हर आप वहां पर आ सकते हैं हमसे मिलिए हम आपको बताएंगे कि किस तरह से आप उस पक्ष का उस पॉलिटिकल पार्टी का मेम्बर बन सकते हैं और जैसे कि जोज ने कहा है अभी कल शनिवार के दिन दोपहर एक बजे से चार बजे तक जो हम अपने आयतों के भाषा में कहते हैं तलन और सेशन यानी कि सवाल जवाब का जो सेशन होगा टू कैंडबरी रोड कैंडबरी के मैसेलेनियन पोल में रहेगा तो आप में से जो भी आना चाहते हैं कुछ सवाल वगैरह आप जो करना चाहते हैं तो हमारे प्रधानमंत्री से वो सवाल आप कर सकते हैं और आश्वासन दिलाते हैं कि आपके जितने भी सवाल रहेंगे सब सवाल का जवाब हमारे प्रधानमंत्री जी आप लोगों को देंगे और फिर उसके बाद में कल रात को उसी हॉल में 225 हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव कैंडबरी रोड कैंडबरी में मैसेलेनियन हॉल में एक हम छोटी सी जलसा रखे हुए हैं जो डिन एंड डेंस नाइट है हमारे फिजी फर्स्ट पोलिटिकल पार्टी की ओर से हर कुछ धन ही करना चाहते उसका टिकट है जो अभी जैसे कि जोज ने कहा आप लोगों के दरमियान में कहा है पचास डॉलर उसका भाव है और उस पचास डॉलर में आपको कई अनेक को लेकर भोजन भी मिलेगा और फिजी से एक संगीति दल जो है तो के भाषा का संगीत दल है वैसे की था और साथ में एक फिजी का बहुत ही माना जाना कलाकार है गैर भारतीय कलाकार है जिसका नाम है चेसे मुदन मित्र वो भी आए हुए है और गीत गाएंगे आप आइए वहाँ पर उनको भी सुनिए हम आग्रह करेंगे आप लोगों से बड़ी तैदाद में जिस तरह से यहाँ पर आप आए हैं उसी तरह से कल भी आइए आप सबका मनोरंजन हम वहाँ भरपूर करेंगे तो हम आशा करते हैं कि जितने भी बात अभी तक जोज ने कहा है हमारे प्रधानमंत्री ने कहा है और मैंने जो कहा है आप जरूर उस पर अमल करेंगे और हमारे फिजी फर्स्ट पोलिटिकल पार्टी को समर्थन प्रदान करेंगे शुक्रिया थैंक यू जयसन जी Uh, I think uh, the evening uh, has to conclude. Unfortunately, uh, there are as many sessions along the weekend. Uh, you may attend to that. Uh, you may now retreat uh, for dinner. And uh, I would love my management committee, uh, management committee members, to come forward so that uh, we can mingle around with the great gentleman here, uh, Panditji. Um, There was there's something that ought to be presented, and uh, may I ask both of you to formally present? Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I've just got a request. There's a car, a blue Mazda, I think BY 62 NB, just parked at the back. You're blocking uh, our entourage's car. Please, could you just remove the vehicle just for a little while?